So, greetings ladies and gentle players, we are here once again on my real board where we are going over a... <laughs> oh, it's a fun game today. You know me by now, you know that I like going over games where there is a rank disparity. And here, as you can see, a 9-don professional versus a 1-don professional. I am certainly staring straight at a game with a rank disparity. This is from the 46th Japanese Meijin Preliminaries. Uh, let's see, this was played on January 2020, the 9th. I would say that I picked this because it's nice and basic and easy to follow, and everyone will enjoy it. I would be lying if I said any of those things. Some people will be enjoying this. This is not basic, nor is it easy to follow. It is, however, a slight bloody. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're just... Uh, looking at this game because the poor little one Don is gonna get his butt kicked. I mean, a slaughter is a slaughter, okay? You can't complain. You can learn something from a slaughter. Fear not. Fear not. Now, in this game, I will try to go over some variations to try to keep it understandable, but yeah, I wouldn't really call this basic. Black opens up in the upper right-hand corner. And white... ...does not take the upper left to invite anything and everything. No, 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 no. White, uh, does do the diagonal. I'm not really surprised to see this nowadays, because nowadays, inviting the diagonal... Eh. It's kind of weird in the area of territory that we're in. Black plays two, three, four points. That is interesting to me. That tells me that perhaps, just perhaps, someone does not want their three, three is stolen. Now, <laughs> I can't imagine why they would possibly get the impression that their three, three is going to be stolen. I mean, I, I, that's just a weird thing to believe. But alright, see what white wants to do. White apparently is doing dual 4-4 four, four points. Interesting. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, there is a Jiseki here, not Jiseki, a Fuseki here, sorry, that I really don't like. And pointing this out right now is going to be important. And that is the approach. Oops, sorry, I hit the box. Approach into back off into 3-3, three, three, specifically with the dual 3-4 points already taken uh, from black. I say specifically because after the 3-3 three, three invasion here, because these 3-4 three, th uh, points are already, you know, 3-4 points and not 4-4 four, four points, we can't just turn around and take a corner back. So this opening specifically would make me very uncomfortable for white. Because you start feeling a little bit behind. Uh, Fuseki is just opening sequence of moves. The era of the game before you get into mid-game really. Starting to make, make frameworks, deciding how the flow of the rest of the game is going to go. So this opening specifically would make me uncomfortable. Which is why I also took note... that white played the approach rather than back off, get stolen, maybe in sente, maybe not in sente. That just always feels uncomfortable. So all right, white is approaching. I suppose it bears mentioning because I don't think it's a, it comes up in this game, does it? It doesn't, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. It bears mentioning that by playing this way, you are comfortable with the double approach on your corner. Right now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I will point out the most common variation that I'm seeing right now. What do you guys see as the most common variation for uh, white right here? Anyone know? Who studies lately? Who's studying the game? Where are my studying peeps at? Uh-huh. We have disagreements here. So we're su we have one suggestion for S15. Uh, we have one suggestion for R15. Interesting. 
We have a suggestion for R16. There you go. It looks like Esalon has the full sequence. Um, verify, yes. And then, yes. And then, oh, there you go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. I was curious to see who, who's uh, familiar with it. Yeah, this little weird guy. This little weirdo. This one always looks very, very strange to me. Because then you have, like, this, into that, into here, into here, into the Atari, into the Happy Little Connect. Bit of an odd sequence nowadays, but relatively popular. Relatively popular. This is currently like the way to settle the position for white. And you can kind of see its benefits. We've got a stone here we could take later. We can extend here. Again, depending on what black wants to do here right now. Um, at worst, black takes this. And in terms of territory, black has something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to go ahead and say 10 or 11. And with one little extension here, we've got three, six, nine. So we're fine with this, right? We can kind of even this here over to uh, here. Feels bad for white. Ah, you know, I was uncomfortable with it too, but we do have some influence here. We're making the territory. I'll grant the shape is a little strange. I will grant there's a little bit of a strange shape here. But we do get the territory, we do get the um, influence, and remember there was like here and uh, here, there was a double approach, right? No, here, that's where it was, sorry. So all in all, it's not that bad. Yeah, as Esalon just pointed out, it, this was from, this was from a double approach to Saki. If we look at some of the more, uh, let's say, traditional ones, where let's say we're double approached and we play the diagonal out into having our corner taken this feels a little bit more awkward in my opinion uh for white i've never really liked this particular diagonal out for this particular reason like if you drop down here it's weird there's like shoulder hits involved those are kind of a little awkward too so yeah it's not bad so I did want to mention this because I've been seeing this double approach constantly in either games that you're sending me or maybe games that you're watching online or even in uh, other professional games. So I wanted to briefly mention that. That said, it's Black's turn. He responds with a per with a pincer. And I hope you guys like Chiseki because we're going to be here a while. Now you could just jump out here but black decides or white decides that he's going to lean instead <sighs> now 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 there are simple variations here you could just play here for example that's fairly simple awesome Black decides, however, that he is going to cut the little one done. How rude. How absolutely rude. Or it would be rude, but we are seeing this Chiseki that we're about to see here. Eh, it's quite common, too. Now, I do want to point out that what you're about to see is also not basic. Because we are getting the cut. And then we get the push. Now, it's starting to look like black stones over here are in a spot of trouble, right? But not really. I hit this Jusaki? Yeah, me too. I don't, I, I don't play it in my games. That's me too. Black plays Hane. White responds. 
black connects it looks like things are going okay for black right now, right? Because there's a cutting point here. So clearly white's going to connect and then black gets to help the stone or go into the corner or something, right? And it's all going to be fantastic. Not that difficult of a variation, right? Wrong. Said we're going to Atari out, which is completely counterintuitive because you've just pushed your opponent against the stones that are in a mild mid of trouble, right? But it's okay because we're going to defend now. And that's okay because by extending we're keeping cuts alive and Hane and it's great. Which is why we're going to extend now. But it's okay because we're still threatening the ever infamous honey at the head of all the things. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And so we got that. And we're going to follow. We're still threatening to honey at the head of all the things. Okay, so now the Han at the head of all the things doesn't work anymore, right? Because now we're like four stones out. So we know that this move here by black, if we play it, is not going to be Sente, right? So we are not going to play it. Instead, black decides to apply maximum pressure onto this. If this stone was Eh, a cut, then, thank you for the follow, then we'd have possible things like this into like this in order to settle, right? And the game just keeps getting, you know, violent and weird and aggressive and things. By playing here instead, He's trying to sandwich the two stones up against all the thickness. Oh, sorry, thank you for the uh, resub. Anywho, so, carrying on. Wait, no S7? What's S7? I didn't miss a move, did I? S7, 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 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. Um, you wouldn't play that yet because it's Gote, right? You play here, he connects, you go under, and then that's Gote, right? White doesn't have to respond to you again. So that would be Imit Gote. White says, you attack me, I attack you. Black says, you attack me, I defend myself. And now white, <laughs> he's not going to sit here and take this stuff lying down. He says, I'm going to kill you, stupid Nine Don. Nine Don's like, you what, mate? Bit of a troubling corner now. Bit of a troubling corner. We're kind of slowly threatening some kind of co for life. Right? Why it threatens to kill. Black plays the Atari. And now later on, there's this move. We don't play it right now, but later on there is a co. So for now, white plays a turn, which I think is very interesting because he has the possible co here, right? 
And he has a couple of locals. So it's it's interesting that you can get the turn in rather than have to like attach or connect, sorry, and like run away. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Black, on the other hand, noting that this move would be insanely good for white. Like this is just stupidly good for white. takes note that he needs to settle and decides to start settling because this kick for this territory and that development another weak group to attack when we already have like the one in the middle still that would just kind of get ridiculous right so honey into the sequence we all know i mean everyone's seen this in your games by now i would think simple connection Simple connection here is very, very strong because it means we get Sente to play a big move. So that's interesting in and of itself. Why, uh, Black felt compelled to live here in Gote rather than like try to cut this and make a larger co. I want to surround you, says Black. Well, I'm not going to let you do that, says White. Threatens to surround again. Turning to escape. And, you know, obviously keep this group sur uh, disconnected from this group. Got a happy little turn in. Giving himself some happy little shape. I like this move a lot. I think a lot of um, amateur players would go crazy here and be like, I'm going to pincer you now to try to kill you. Which then increases the level of difficulty because now you're like juggling this group and this group, and this group, and this group, and there's still this group with that co, and it's just like, what are you doing? So I like the patience of the simple one point jump here. It's a nice simple move. I would say a basic move in fact. Even though, yes, 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 I know. It does let the big mean opponent get a base. Boo hoo. But it's still nice, solid, and strong. So, that's good. Now, must figure out where next big move is. And this one's actually kind of tough. No, no time for the go yet. No time for the go yet, man. You'll be surprised how long it takes to get to the co. Like, but your eye naturally goes there, right? You're like, ooh, I want to go and take that corner. If I told you that that co is not going to be played for like, I'm probably going to say at least 100 moves. There's a lot of stuff that's going to go on. That co is not going to even be looked at for about a good 100 moves. So instead, white proves he's a pretty decent player by looking at his opponent's shape. If we don't take this, later on, our opponent takes this. And that is a very, very strong shape. Like, now this needs to get a base. This can, like, be completely surrounded. Like, there's just a lot of strength involved with that stupid little shape. So White says, I'm going to play here instead. If I get to Ataru, I can throw in, and then you know what? You're not even alive locally. Isn't that something? D4. Uh, what's D4? Oh, the approach. No. It's just all about shape. All about shape. Black does not like being 
climbed on top of apparently, so he wants to come out. White follows. Black says, I'm going to lean. This lean has a very obvious motive. White pushes because you also can't let these connect. Plays Hane. Insta gets cut. Now we have to juggle. Tari down. Like Sue. And then note the follow. Because kind of like a splitty doodad going on here. White plays the Atari before solid connection can be made. Forcing a connection. And then happy little drop down. And push. And happy little drop down. Can't Hane here because this pretty much wrecks your face. So we just extend down. And we are followed. You can see the plan here from, from Black. The plan is those stones are mine. Right? And we follow. Wait, sorry, no, we Hane. Sorry, sorry, I lied. We Hane. We Hane. Forgot what number we were on. Now, obviously, the goal was this. So we're going to cut. Sorry, for some reason I thought we were on uh, three down and not four. Ah! Not for out of turn it was. There we go. Atari. And extend down. This is getting interesting, Duda, Duda. And defend. Now that, that is an interesting position right here. I think you would agree. So what's going on here is quite simple. Black says, I can get enough liberties with this group to go back and kill this group. Because you, as in you white, are too worried about what's going on here to be able to do anything crazy like Hane and try to kill me here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We can now see what is going on here. We understand what is a foot. So we extend. And we push, and we extend. Now we can't just keep playing this way because of how many times we have to extend. How many times do we have to run on the second line in order to be alive? Anybody know just offhand? How many times? Is it four? Eight. Seven in Sente, eight in Gote. Exactly. So imagine we've got four, and now imagine five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So imagine that or that with a bunch of white stones following, right? I'm sure you would agree. This is turning quite bizarre. At this point, you don't even really care if these stones are dead. Because the sheer amount of strength this is going to give to, like, the outside attacks is going to be insane. Like, you can gladly sacrifice this corner for the influence we're going to get here. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's like 12 points, right? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So, if we get, like... A stone over in here into like 
I don't know, something like this later, we can make the territory here that up that we gave up there. And this is like just conservatively using this stuff, right? So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. That would be what we would consider a very, very bad idea. So instead of that, uh, one, two, three, four, one too many. And there we go. Black decides to start getting a little bit aggressive. In this case, if white turns, the threat is the cut, right? If we turn here, three liberties, then how are we going to respond to here? Not with a net, because this only has two liberties, so like it's killed. So we're going to Atari it, right? But how many times are we going to Atari it? Are we going to Atari it? Can't ladder, otherwise dead. To here? You, you can see the problem, right? We're killing ourselves. It's not, uh, it's not really pretty, is it? Now we have to juggle this and this somehow? It's like, ah, oh, this is not going well. So yeah, that's, that, that, that is no good. So that explains that one, which also explains why white backs off into shape. It's not because, oh, he's just a scared little professional one don. What a dork. Stupid professional one don. Afraid to fight the nine don. No, it's because that cut's gonna make you make you bleed. Tremendously. So okay. Well spotted by the one don. Black comes underneath. Get the right color stone on the board. There we go. And then we can resume the pushing. We can get this one in for free. And then that's all we have in Sente. We have enough here to go back and do whatever we want to this thing. So, next question. Where's the, what's the odd you like over here? And Black says, well, I'm just going to live in the corner. And White says, really? Well, then I'm going to Atari. And that, that's an issue because there's a cut, right? But Black says, that's fine. I'm going to connect. And White says, really? And I'm going to take your stone. And you can see the problem with what we're having here. Uh, white, 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 white. There we go. You can, you can see the issues that we are... Uh, now firmly embracing here. This little move is becoming perfectly positioned. Ah, oh, so good, so perfectly positioned. Now, who can tell me next move, Q's first? Q's, oh, sorry, wait, 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 that next move is obvious. Sorry, 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 there we go. Now, next move, Q's first. Q's first, what do you think? Any ideas here? I'm, Don's might be able to get it. Don's will get it. Q's might be. You've seen this in your life and death problems. I know you have. Because I, I did a couple this week and I saw it. Don't judge me. No, suggest no ideas from Q's? No ideas from Q's? Oh, so sad. No ideas from Q's. Well, I know Don's are going to get it, so what is it? What's White's move? P14? Yar! Um, the real Brapple? Out of curiosity, what's your rank? Are you Don or Q? You don't have to give us the exact if you don't want to. Really? You're 11 Q and you got that? Dude. That's all I can say there. Just dude. All right, so yeah, you Atari here, and then you've got the cut here, 
And you can see the problem afoot here, right? Like you can Atari this once. Like so. But you that's all you can do because you need to go back and otherwise snap back, right? So we have to take. Ah! Eh. There we go. And then we would love to be able to play here, but we can't. So we have to play here. Now this exchange is already pretty sexy because the force moves that we're getting here, right on this side, is securing this territory for white. If nothing else, it's it's making sure there's like no weird end game stuff to reduce this. So we're getting like a solid like three, six, nine, twelve, like whatever here, right? So that in of itself is is valuable, but it's also noting that black's position's not the greatest thing in the history of ever right now. Black says I'm alive on the outside, so I'm fine. Bot me. White asks, can I haunt it at a two stones? So you might be wondering, what's up with this? Don't worry, we're coming back to it. A lot of you are noting that there's still shenanigans with the Atari and like the threat here. Yeah, more on that later. Black plays Hane, that's really, really bold, given that there's a white stone so close. White cuts. Not letting that stupid nine don get away with anything. It's like, you're getting away with nothing. Good day, sir. That Atari is really, really nice to control the cutting stone. I like it. I like it a lot. Now you'll notice, just take a moment here to appreciate what white has set up. We've got a lot of solid, um, a lot of solid stones here, right? Really strong shape. Right, 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 right. We've got a nice little wall here. We've gone out of our way to make sure that this area, again, we've taken, taken out the cutting stone. We're nice and solid over here. So the question is coming back over and over to what is this black group going to do? Because it's surrounded by like a bunch of, you know, tough looking white stones looking to start some stuff. Which is why when white had, when black had Sente, black defended. And when black had Sente again, because this was white's last move. Same thing, right? We're defending. Can I kill this group? Says white. No. Says black. And that's where we are right now. It would appear we are in a co. Because if white re retakes and black ignores, then there is an Atari into either an Atari or maybe even just a con uh, connection. Then we're kind of starting to run out of liberties here. Right? So we have... First threat, connect, and a retake. Gotta love. That's the problem right there for you. Ain't it a beaut? Attachment. Connection for a response does respond to that. I had I had assumed that at this stage we were going to see like an ignore or something? Pro? No? Guess not. We're not. 
we ain't doing that. Retake. And then we have an easy Atari into a retake. And then we have easy threat because push, connect, Atari, connect, Atari, dead stones. So this is actually a pretty nice uh, co-threat. So, responding to that one, obvious. Into bloop. Laxu. White turn for co threat. Very, very simple cut, because the middle of the board is still in trouble. Black says no. Into retake. Now here's something that's fun. Black says, dude, you will stop doing this crap to me right now. Right? But white's got different ideas, let me tell you. White is a veritable I have an idea chat. White says, Okay. Kill the two stones. I got something else in I got something else in mind. And Black says, you know what? I can't it's it's just not gonna work. You know? There's gonna be more co threats. I have to end this now, or my opponent is literally going to Atari me right now and then use more co threats in the center. So okay. Done with the co. Excellent. Fantastic, even. So, now the entire middle is under attack. And Atari. And Atari. He's got to connect sooner or later. Boom. Connected. Wait, sorry. Too soon. Ask her it. Sorry, he pushes one more time. And then takes. Right? So we had push, extend, take. And then white just calmly turns. Like, yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's okay. What are we going to do now? Black needs shapies. He's got an eye, right? He's got a, he's got one eye, right? He's got like an eye here. So, you know, it's not bad. He's almost alive. He's halfway there, in fact. I'll even raise you butter. Since this is dead, and technically the only territory white has on this game is right here. I would say this is probably supposed to be a better result for black than it is for white, right? What, this eye is a lie? How? Oh, you're going to play here? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Like, there's like an easy defense right here that black could get in at some point, but yeah. Anywho. Um, whose turn? Blacks. Black says, I went out. White says, where are you going? Black says, I went out. And black, white says, where are you going? That's dangerous because now one move and the three stones are dead. So this is starting to really pay for itself now. This is like bull in China shop. It's like, well, that's now just going to run through there and die. Like, what else is going to go up? What else is happening here? What else is happening here? Tari. 
and takey takey into turn what looks suspiciously like the time suji humans and their time sujis Ugh. why can't they read faster clearly their hardware is obsolete that's all i can say stupid humans Having to play time sujis to be able to read. Ah, how cute. Honey, we're almost alive. We can taste freedom, boys! And extend. And counterattack. That right there is a nine don thing to do, I'll grant you. I'll grant it. That is a nine don thing to do right there. Not just gonna watch as, you know, your opponent completely surrounds you while you make, you know, two little itty bitty little eyes in the middle of the board. It's like, no, you're gonna counterattack. Duh. Of course you're gonna counterattack. White cuts. We have a that escalated quickly moment. Luckily, we've got ways to be okay. Extend. That honey was a little bit surprising. But all we really need are liberties. That way we can go back and cut. Black plays the Atari. White removes Liberty. Black plays Atari. And connect. Threaten to kill. And escapes. And Atari. And take. So nail biting. What's it gonna be? Black takes. White obviously connects. Moves to push through. Hey, look! Remember me? I'm a co! <laughs> this is where you don't really want to ever see a co come up. Just, just saying. Because everything in the middle is a co threat. So how, how, how do you win that? How do you win that? Right? There's like the take. And then white turns around and is like, okay, now what? And black has to respond. So we get to take. Awkward. Atari. Or er, semi Atari. Threaten to snap back Atari, is what I meant to say there. And then retake. And white's just like, yep, 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 yep. I can, I can just keep pulling these threats out of nowhere. I, I can just keep doing it. Long as you want me to. What are we doing? What are we doing? Threaten another, but it's reducing more liberties, you might notice. And at this point, <sighs> it just continues. It's like, okay, can I kill these stones? No? Okay, apparently not. 
Continuing on, Lord Zun. This is a really, really bad co threat. But what else is he going to do? Like, honestly, what is he going to do? Atari. And that cut would be painful. Can't allow that one. And we retake. Nine Don versus a one Don. Extends. Atari. And at that point, yeah, he realizes it might be a good time to give up. Because he can't fight this cow, right? He can't fight the cow. Not to mention, there's... If he connects, which he has to do, there's an Atari here. Sorry, which he had to do, like I said. And then there was an Atari there. So it's, I mean, like, what are you going to do? You're going to do nothing. You're going to do nothing. So that's fun. Yeah, needless to say, um, after White took, Black was like, yeah, I'm going to resign now. All of my stones are dead, and this might be dead too. And but I killed these, so that's that's happy. That's a lot of dead. January game. It's entirely possible we might see this game again in December for the bloodiest of this year. It wouldn't surprise me. It is on the list of candidates.